Hello everybody, we got our big delivery of Christian Light Education Language Arts that I'm going to be unboxing right here for you. And while I'm doing it, I'm just gonna give you um, some information about Christian Light Education because this is one of the homeschool curriculums that I feel like is very little well known by people. And I myself was not ever interested in this curriculum just by the way it looked, as sad as that sounds. So I really wanna give you like the ins and outs of why this curriculum is so amazing and why you cannot judge a book by its cover. If you don't already know me, my name is Jessica. I was a public school teacher for many years before resigning and becoming a full-time homeschool mom to three daughters. And this channel is really dedicated to helping other homeschooling families navigate the world of curriculum and scheduling and all things homeschooling. So we've been using Christian Light Education for the last year. We switched to it from the good and the beautiful, which if you're not already following me on TikTok, I have tons and tons of videos about why we left the good and the beautiful and why we chose Christian Light Education. But overall, um, we started with the learning to read program with Christian Light Education. My daughter was technically in first grade and we felt like the good and the beautiful had a lot of gaps and that my daughter was missing a lot of knowledge from doing that curriculum. So we started with the learning to read program and I was so impressed with how organized Christian Land Education was, even though it's a spiral method curriculum, which means you introduce a topic and then you go back to it a little later and then you, it's kind of like constant review. That's the spiral method. Sometimes the spiral method can feel a little messy because you feel like you're all over the place. But with Christian Land Education, they do it in such a methodical way that you almost feel as though there's no possible way your child could ever have any gaps in their education because they're so good about hitting every little mark. Now with Christian Light Education, the reading program, which is what we were using, is separate from the language arts. So when they get about halfway through the first grade reading program, the learning to read program, you're supposed to introduce the language arts program. So that is what this is. We've ordered the entire first grade language arts program. And I'm going to show you how this works with Christian Light Education because this can be a little confusing if you're not used to this style. Oh, yay. And I forgot that I also ordered the pre-K curriculum for my four-year-old, which I'm super excited about. So for the language arts, it does come with your teacher's guide. So Christian Light Education does have a separate teacher's guide. Some curriculum companies like the Good and the Beautiful will have the directions for the teacher within the same workbook that the kids do the work in. Christian Light is different in that it's separate. And I actually prefer this because I can take notes in here. I can tab it wherever I want. And my daughter's not actually doing the writing inside the book. So that's the teacher's guide for the language arts. And then we have the pre-K curriculum. So this is what I mean by it's not super flashy. It's not illustrative. When you see this, like if I saw this on the shelf and I was looking for something for my four-year-old, I would never grab this. But once you get to know the curriculum and you understand how solid it really is, like you cannot go wrong with this. And I've actually come to appreciate the fact that they're not super flashy and um, they're, they actually are very colorful. Once you get into certain levels, it does become um, a little more illustrative, but I actually appreciate that because it's not a distraction to my kids. The stories a lot of times are just black and white pictures, illustrations, and I feel like that helps my kids really focus on the storyline and not so much on the photographs or pictures. So inside for the preschool program, we have the, it's called About Three, and it says a beginning activity workbook for three or four year olds. And then you can see it comes with four different books. Then we have the Bigger Steps, an activity book for four-year-olds. So you go from this one to this one. Then your pink book, oops, it's upside down. Then your pink book, an activity color book for four-year-olds. So that's the color count and cut activity book. And then you have your green one, which is doing my best. And then this just says a preschool activity book. So I just want to show you the insides of these because again, like if you saw this on the shelf, you'd be like, what? But it's so good. So inside you can see it's not colorful and flashy or anything like that, but it just gets right to the point. That's what I love about that. There's not a bunch of fluff and a bunch of busy work. It's look right here. They're just matching numbers to numbers. Here they're working on their uh, pen control. So they're just tracing lines. I remember this is the three-year-old book. Well, it says three or four. Again, matching numbers. Then the preschool activity book, this is the last one that I showed you. You can see they get into 
a little bit more heavy duty things here. So they're actually like counting and coloring the little illustrations there. Here, counting the objects and writing the numbers and the spaces. Coloring the balloons, which they actually have a little key at the bottom. I like that. Then the color count and cut activity workbook. You can see here, it says color the birdhouse and the glove brown. So it's literally just like a coloring book. So it says color the shapes on the left. So you color them on the left and then we cut these out and we glue them to match their shape here. So again, super basic and these are so cheap. Like these are so, the price of Christian light education. You wouldn't even believe it when you see it, especially for the value. Okay, and then next I got my now seven-year-old, the cursive writing book. We've already done the printing penmanship and her penmanship is beautiful thanks to Christian Light Education. So I went ahead and got her the cursive workbook. We have started a little bit of cursive just on our own, uh, but I just love this. They have the thin lines. It's not the giant thick lines, which I think really helped her when she was printing with the Christian Light Education curriculum. And then going back to the language arts, so you saw that I got the teacher's guide here, right? Now for the student, they get their what's called light units. So these are these paper booklets that look like this. You get 10 of them per grade level technically. So for first grade language arts, you'll get 10 of these light units. And what I love about this is it's like nine or 10 lessons in each workbook, and then they graduate to the next one. So then she would move on to her next workbook. And there's a quiz and a test in each of these workbooks. So you can keep that for your records. And it just keeps going until they finish all 10 workbooks. A lot of people ask me if the teacher's guides are necessary when it comes to Christian light education. Like, can you just get the student workbooks? In my opinion, you should definitely get the teacher's guides because there are teaching strategies in there that are so good. I spent nine years as a public school teacher and some of the fun, and first grade too. I taught first grade for most of my time. The phonic skills that are taught in Christian light education, the way that they teach us parents to teach it to the kids, it's so good. It is so good. It is nothing like I was ever taught as a teacher to teach in the public school system for phonics. So highly recommend getting the teacher's guides. And then these light units that you heard me talking about earlier that they actually work through. Now this is the last one of the series. So this is number 10, but you can see the language arts really hits on grammar writing, and it still actually touches on a little bit of phonics as well. Some people choose to only do the reading program with Christian Light Education and not do language arts, or I've seen vice versa where some parents will do the language arts but not the reading. We are going to use them both together um, just because I love the reading program. It's a lot of reading comprehension and the language arts will really hit on those writing topics that I think my daughter really needs. So. That is it for our Christian Light Education Hall. Um, oh, one more thing too. I will be posting a video soon on my TikTok channel. This is the Christian Light Education second grade math sample. If you don't know already Christian Light Education, if you go to their website, or you could just Google Christian Light Education free sample, and you'll see the part on their website where they will send you a workbook of any subject of your choosing. So they have Bible, science, reading, language arts, and math. And you'll get one workbook, no teacher's guide though. So just keep that in mind. If you open it and you're like, I don't know what I'm supposed to teach. Well, that's because it doesn't come with a teacher's guide, but it's just the student workbook. So you can actually take a look at it and see how it's set up, how it's organized, how it works. This is the second grade math. We are doing math you see right now. And we're kind of supplementing a little bit with horizons math. And I just, I'm not, I just don't feel like it's filling in enough of the standards that at least she should be learning by now for first grade in my opinion. So I ordered the second grade Christian Light thinking maybe next year for second grade we will move to Christian Light since we love it for reading and language arts. And they sent me the sample and I absolutely love it. Not only do they do their daily lessons, but in the back they have the addition drills, right? Where you set the timer and you see how long it takes them to complete however many problems it is. Um, I love that because we actually purchased a separate timed math test little booklet thing to help with that addition fluency. This has it all included. Another thing that I thought was really cute that they do is in the very front of this math light unit, this is the second grade one, the very first page has a bunch of random facts 
about animals. It's actually a bunch of questions. So you can see it says visiting the nature center and it says, what is the heaviest insect? How many mice can an owl eat each night? How many feathers does a swan have? Like all these random questions about animals. And as you move through the light unit, there's the answers to these interesting questions at the top of each lesson within the light unit. So it's almost like an incentive, like, oh, I can't wait to get to the next lesson so I can find the answer to, you know, how many mice an owl can eat or whatever. It's at the top of each page. So I thought that was really cute. It's almost like a little scavenger hunt that they put in there. Um, and they incorporate the math within it too. So like an owl can eat one half of its weight in mice. And then they might do, this is the same day that they're doing the fractions, right? So they were doing fractions and then they give you that little fact about the owl. So Christian Light Education, I just noticed that they do little things like that all the time that just keep the kids engaged, keep me on my toes as the teacher. Like this is definitely not a curriculum you can just give to your kid and have them go do in the other room. At least not at this level, like the first grade level, I am sitting with my daughter. She is getting a lot more independent with it, but it's not something that you can just give to them and have them go do until they get into the older level. So just prepare yourself for that. Um, but seriously, if you haven't already, go onto Facebook. There is a great Facebook group called Christian Light Education Families. There are families in there that have been using this curriculum for like 30 years, okay? And this curriculum has been around for a long, long time. And there are families in there who will give you information. Like there's one mom that just posted today. She has seven kids. All seven went through Christian Light Education. They are now adults. And she was posting about what their careers are now. Engineering, doctors, like business owners. Like this is a solid curriculum that will get your kid to wherever they wanna go. So I will be ordering the rest of the second grade math. I think I'm gonna order a little bit of the first grade math as well, just to fill in some gaps that I think Matthew C might've left behind because that's a mastery curriculum and this is spiral. Um, so keep an eye out for that. I'll be doing an unboxing video for that as well. And then also keep an eye out for videos of my four-year-old working on the pre-K curriculum, which I'm super excited for as well.